desktop okay and, and I'm able to load that or for example let me select this one cells I select remove move and then I can select load okay I get my information back I can display the total here okay so now <coughs> Uh, the module itself okay I I can write this whole program without using uh, uh, without using the module but I placed most of the code in the module to make it things easier for me so look what happens when you place the code in the module okay the module contains the definition of the structure here <coughs> okay as you can see I'm highlighting it here this is the structure that contains the information about the item you want to sell here uh, you define the array and the number of elements in the array that you are using okay and uh, this one is a function that will clear the content of the message box sorry of the dialogue to, uh, and read the, the information of the item and then get the information back and pass it to the calling subroutine or other function etc okay so here I'm clean, uh, clearing the items etc we will uh, we'll see this in a more obvious way uh, this subroutine will uh, receive a data grid view and receive an array and it will display the array in the data grid view okay remove item based on name I will remove an item from the array based on its name okay and say this one saves the file this one loads the file this one gets the sum now let's check the form and see how the code look looks like okay so this is the form it contains this is data grid view open file dialog save file dialog and the menu strip that contains these menu items so let me start by going to the first item this one is to add item here you just call the function read sales information and read sales information uh, is placed in in the module okay um, so you won't see th the code of that in, in in the in the form itself okay now also if you uh, if you were here for example uh, if you want to, to remove an item also you just call the function and call the display and that's it um, also if you want to save a file you just call the function uh, the proceed uh, the subroutine to save the file if you want to load the file you just call that and as you can see there is no extra coding it's only uh, one or two function calls and that's it and this makes it easier for you or uh, for others to track your code and understand it and whenever you want to update your code all you have to do is just go to the module and modify it now let's say let's say for example you want to uh, to add another form into your project so add um, another windows form form 2 add okay and now this one I I want let's say to read uh, the information of an item so here dimension uh, 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 ITM uh, cells subtract ITM equal uh, read cells on full you can see here I didn't have to reprogram uh, rewrite the code in this form because it's in the module so the code itself can be shared between different forms I don't have to rewrite it again and again okay so I just call this one and that's it now I will modify the program to work to start from form 2 so go project properties and uh, start the form form 2 this is it now if I run the program here and I press this one I get the dialog box that I, I am used to enter the data into okay no need to add extra coding or anything so as you can see here uh, the use of of uh, 
modules make things easier for me okay so now I'm I'm restoring this project to the same way it was I'm removing the form 2 uh, project properties start of form is form 1 okay close this close this close 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 and uh, let me run this one again okay so it works fine okay so uh, as you can see if you place the code the modules make uh, the recording more logical okay uh, next is, uh, next step is uh, uh, is I am showing you uh, a real application I'm working on and uh, this one is a little bit uh, complex and has lots of coding now um, you can see these most of these are modules some of these are classes uh, sorry okay and uh, these are user interface uh, windows and uh, these are a number of other modules okay and as you can see I renamed each module to represent some kind of meaningful name for me for example report definition is uh, a module or a class that I am using to uh, store the definition of a report that I need in, in this project and there's lots of coding and stuff like that and if I have anything related to reports I will put it in this module so that I can find it right away uh, PDF writer is uh, a class I built up on top of ITX sharp and I modify it to make things easier for me so whenever I want to access that I will just uh, I will just uh, place the uh, I would uh, whenever I want to modify it I would just go to this module okay log writer is also something related to uh, storing log and error information uh, encryption is, an, is a class I wrote to do some kind of simple encryption and stuff like that so if you see the code for each one of these modules you'll find that there are lots of functions and stuff like that if you combine these all together into one a place it will be very complex to manage it will be it, it, it won't be easy for me to remember where should I go to modify a simple one I should always check the whole code and stuff like that while uh, when I separate them into uh, these modules it's easier for me to find the function that I need and not only that later on when I create another project and can take a complete module and use it directly without any change actually for example the encryption module is an update on updated version of a previous module that I've been working on uh, on another project and I just changed a line or two in, in this one okay uh, so basically uh, modules help you uh, uh, reusing the code in a way uh, ma managing your code and organizing it and make it easier for you the programmer to understand so uh, this is all for uh, this is all for today I hope you'll find uh, this useful okay uh, I think the, tutori the tutorials will be interesting. The next, uh, the next one will be interesting because we'll start speaking about the classes. Um, if you have any questions or uh, suggestions or notes about uh, this tutorial, uh, please send them to me. I really appreciate it. Um, also, yeah. Also, you might want to check the website. Uh, you'll find the the sample program not this one the other sample program uh, the cells uh, you, you can download that and see its code and you might want to modify it a little bit and see how to, to work with it okay so uh, that's all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye